Good morning, friends. Uh, greetings from a town called Memmingen in Germany, in the southern part of Germany. And maybe you might ask, what am I doing in Germany? Let me see first. Is this the right place or not where I'm going? Yeah, it is Zaltstrasse, so Salt Street. That's the one which I wanted. Okay, perfect. Let's keep going. So, what am I doing here in Memmingen, in uh, Germany? Uh, actually, I didn't wanted. I didn't want to go to Germany. I didn't plan to go. Although I'm not, I have nothing against it, of course. But uh, the thing which I'm aiming for is Switzerland and uh, Liechtenstein. Uh, these are one of the very few countries which are still left for me unvisited in Europe. Uh, the, there is only, probably I can count on one, one hand's fingers how many countries are still left in Europe which I haven't visited yet. So, and Switzerland and Liechtenstein is one of them, two, two of them, <laughs> okay. And uh, I want to go there, that's my plan. Initially I thought to, uh, to get, oh, this is interesting, nice. Uh, initially I thought to go, to, to fly straight to uh, Zurich, because from Zurich I can take the famous uh, train ride through Alps to Italy, to Tirano in Italy. And let me see, is this the Kalkstrasse? It looks like it is. I don't see any sign, but from the map it looks like it should. Let's see. Kunagasse. Yes, that's correct. Let's co keep going. Uh, okay, so uh, I want to take this. I want to take this. Uh, a famous, probably one of the most scenic, if not the scenic, the most scenic train ride, uh, Bernina Express, I think it's called, or Bernina something, not sure, uh, from Zurich through Chur to Tirano in Italy through Alps. So that's what I want, and I found one interesting way. So I can buy a ticket for one third of the price, or even less probably. Um, I might share it with you when I get there. So I, I want to go to Zurich, and after uh, to take this train ride. But then I was thinking first, what's here? Nice, nice small German town. You see these things, they still have them. Nice. <laughs> Good. Uh, so, um, where was I? Where did I left? Forgot completely what I wanted to tell you. Um, okay, about the trainer I probably am. Uh, so, my plan was to go to Zurich but uh, and to take this train ride but uh, as i haven't i have never been to uh, to Liechtenstein and it's so close and i don't know when i will next time be here so i would go from zurich to Liechtenstein to Vaduz Vaduz or Vaduz what is it pronounced i'm, I'm not sure uh, Oh, this is beautiful, isn't it? I'll give you a good tour of Memmingen. <laughs> this is Marktplatz, I think, which is Market uh, Square, probably in English I could translate it. And it looks like Marktplatz, 
as well. Not bad. Okay. Well, this is beautiful. And that is beautiful. Let's see. <coughs> so, um, from Zurich, I would take train or bus to Liechtenstein, and then I would have to go to Zurich. And my plane ticket to Zurich was quite expensive. I don't remember what it was, but it was something like 60 euros or something. For Europe, it's expensive. And one one way ticket, I mean. The prices are not bad as well. I was expecting... Uh, I was expecting it to be worse in Germany, but it's good. Nice. Okay. What's that? A canal? A small river? Interesting. This will be a total rambling video. No plan, no script, as you see. <laughs> what can be further from script <laughs> than this? <laughs> okay. So, um, to the topic. I would, um, yeah, I was thinking to, to, to fly to Zurich. But then, instead of paying these 60 or something or whatever euros to Zurich and then to take uh, back and forth the same route from Zurich to, to Liechtenstein and back to Zurich, I noticed that Ryanair gives tickets from Dublin to Memmingen in Germany, South Germany, for 9 euros and 99 cents. Which is not bad at all, I would say. And, as it is close, I thought, why not? Let's give this thing a shot. So I flew yesterday... Nice! So I flew yesterday uh, into Memmingen, stayed overnight, and I will be taking a train or bus I have to see yet, to Bregenz, I think it's pronounced, or Bregenz, Bregenz, I don't know, uh, in very northwestern tip of uh, Austria, Österreich. I will go there um, after I have a short look on Memmingen, what I'm doing now with you. I'll go to Bregenz in Austria and maybe walk an hour or two to have a look on that town and then from there to Feldkirch and from there to Liechtenstein and it's close uh, it won't be more expensive than going to Liechtenstein from Zurich but it will be cheaper plane ticket wise and I will see a little bit of one small German town and a little bit of one small Austrian town on my way as well. So, not bad idea, I think. That's why I'm here. So I think it might be a small inspiration maybe for you. Uh, when you go somewhere, you have some plan which you want to see, uh, have a look around. It might be that somewhere near, even two countries further down the road, uh, it might be a very cheap ticket. You can have some nice exploration on the way. Where am I? Okay, I'm actually going a bit too far now. I'm kind of trying to go this red circle, red line. I went outside already. Let's see, let's go back. Because outside there will be more newer buildings, nothing very beautiful or special. We'll go back inside of the city wall. 
<clears throat> so, uh, I was just thinking, you might, you might have this as a small inspiration, but uh, check around, see what's available near. Not exactly in the place where you are going, and uh, I'm I'm definitely sure that this will make my trip cheaper and more enjoyable, more beautiful as well more places visited instead of going back and forth the same route also one more thing before I switch off this video you probably know that I have quite limited budget for my travels and actually what I do is that I keep my traveling expenses lower than what I would spend if I lived and rented properly in Ireland. So my idea is that travel can be cheaper than sitting in one place. <laughs> and it actually works usually pretty much always. But here it's interesting. You see my travel budget is 20 euros per day including everything literally everything usually it's around 10 euros for accommodation for one night 5 euros for all kinds of transportation including air tickets and everything and 5 euros per day for eating uh, in reality it's a little bit less than that because uh, I have sometimes all kinds of miscellaneous expenses like <laughs> like like uh, I don't know if I need to buy a new charging cable or a new t-shirt that goes from the same money as well I don't have some other money <laughs> and if I oh well that's beautiful or if I have to pay uh, a traffic fine by police in Vienna in Austria for taking pictures while riding my bicycle on the streets <laughs> which actually happened so I paid that fine from the same money as well I don't have other money so it is a little bit less than 20 euros for these things but okay uh, let's say roughly 20 euros for these things what do you think? can I afford to travel in those kind of expensive places like Switzerland and Liechtenstein? where, for example, in Liechtenstein, the cheapest hostel, the cheapest, is 46 euros per night. How about that? And in Switzerland, it can be maybe 35 or 40 euros per night. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah. So what do you think? Is it possible? Is it possible for me? If I have 5 euros a day for eating, 5 euros a day for travel, including airplane and train and bus and everything, and 10 euros per night for accommodation, is it possible to travel places like Switzerland and Liechtenstein, where a hostel costs 46 euros per night? A good question, but before you jump into a conclusion that it's impossible, I can encourage you wait for my next video. I'm thinking to make next video in Liechtenstein and tell you a little bit more about it before you have jumped to conclusion that it is impossible. We'll see if it's possible or not. Okay. See you there.